It is a great day here at the Raytown Travel Agency. Me, I help me, I help me, I help you. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I've been barbecuing and stuff today. All my food is just about done. Um, so now I am on to dessert. And we're making ice cream, y'all. That's what we're doing. I told y'all we were going to do it, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to make one completely scratch ice cream. That's what I'm getting ready to do now. That's going to be vanilla. Um, and I'm going to show you how you do it scratch. Because that's the way that I like to do my ice cream. Hey, Lady AK. Um, but then I'm going to show you an easy way. Because what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to make custard or pudding. I'm getting ready to make a homemade custard. I've done that for y'all before when I made banana pudding. So I'm going to do it again. You can take that same stuff, put it in your ice cream freezer, and make ice cream. Okay? real homemade ice cream um and then i'm gonna show you the easy way hey babe to use just instant pudding since you if you don't want to make pudding homemade with you know, like i'm gonna do then you can use the instant pudding same thing still put it in the ice cream freezer you got homemade ice cream that tastes like that you know thick rich real ice cream that's got eggs and butter and stuff in it okay because the real stuff the real stuff the fattening stuff the good stuff is full of eggs and butter y'all okay it's not just milk and sugar no that's not ice cream that's ice milk we can make some ice cream so first let me turn my little thing on um we're gonna melt butter we're gonna put some flour in here and we're going to brown it. Like we're making some gravy or whatever. We're going to make a little roux. I'm going to add milk to it. I'm going to beat up my eggs. And then I have to slowly get my eggs in there. Because we don't want scrambled eggs. We're not making scrambled egg pudding or scrambled egg ice cream. So I'll show you how you do that. I've done it before. you got to temper it. And we're going to stir that together. And then it's going to go in my ice cream freezer. So it can be made in the ice cream, y'all. And then we're also, in addition to the pudding ice creams that we're going to, the custard ice creams that we're going to make, we're also going to make um, the ice cream that my grandmother used to make. She called it sherbet. Um, but it's literally soda and evaporated and um, condensed milk. Soda and condensed milk. Or canned milk. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We got a bunch of ice cream to make, y'all. So. I found out just a couple seconds ago when I asked Rayon to give me the butter that Shaylin has actually used all my butter. So I only have one little half a stick and then we got to use margarine. So we got to use some of the fake stuff, but it'll be all right. So I'll put my little half a stick in here and then I'm going to put enough margarine to make up the rest of my stick. Because the half a stick is about four tablespoons if you didn't know girl she, she be mi mixing up all kinds of stuff in the kitchen she she used a whole bag of broccoli a big a family bag of broccoli the other day she put broccoli and i think every season that i have <coughs> a couple sticks of butter and i don't know and it smelled really good but then she burned it up like, she be standing right there, and she just, I don't know, zones out, and she's burn up whatever it is. I have to holler in there and tell her, um, your food is burning. But she be in there hooking stuff up. It starts off smelling really good. It starts off smelling really good, and then she zones off somewhere. I don't know if she be looking out the window, looking out the back door. I don't know if she was spying on Rayon. I don't know. think she'd be really cooking in there. She'd be trying. And I don't really try and stop her too much because I want her to learn to cook and I want her to want to learn how to cook. So, you know, I don't yell at her for wanting to cook. As long as I'm home, it's okay. 
but I, I don't want to waste my food though. Food is expensive, especially right now. Food is expensive. Yeah. So, all right. So my butter's melted. I'm gonna put some flour in here. So if you use a, a pound, I, don't use, I use one stick. So I'm using a stick of butter. So you're gonna use about the same amount of flour as you do your butter. Like when I do this for a banana pudding, I use a pound of butter, I use about a pound of flour. But this is only a stick, so we're using about, you know, equal amount, eight tablespoons. And we're just gonna cook the flour, because you don't want raw flour. I'm doing hey Brenda just keeping it moving around letting it get a little toasted we don't want it dark because we're not actually making gravy we're making ice cream so we just want to make sure the flour has time to cook and not taste like raw flour. I'm gonna be making vanilla. This is just gonna be vanilla right here. Okay, let me sit this back down. But I just wanna do this long enough, like I said, for my flour to be cooked. I don't want to actually brown it. I'm going to turn my temperature way down right now. Because now, this is a roux at this point. That's a roux, okay? We're going to add some milk to this. I'm going to add a can of milk. Evaporated milk. Let me find my can opener. Hey, Karen. All right, so can of milk. We're gonna incorporate this milk. We don't want no chunks, because we're making ice cream, so we need smooth and creamy. Hey, said smooth and creamy. We get all these chunks out of here. Now we got butter, flour. Stefan, am I not always on this bed? What are you talking about? This is where I take my, I do my videos, baby. We four years into this now, boo. I'm always in here. All you doing is seeing a different angle. Same spot I'm always in, baby. I've said before, I don't have a camera. Don't start. Not today. I don't have a camera. We do stuff from the phone and from my webcam. Then barbecue from the bed is outside, right? Hey, Dwayne and Ray. All right, Do another can of milk. No, 
no, baby, this is not a George Foreman. What kind of George Foreman you know of that you can pour liquids into? I have every gadget you could think of. Put it to you that way. I can cook anywhere. I can cook in a hotel room. I can cook in a bedroom. I can cook outside camping. You name it, I can cook there. I'm not limited to one room. I can cook anywhere, a full meal. You're waiting on some challenges. Did you hear that challenge that DC said before you ran out the room last week? I don't even remember what she told y'all to do. She told y'all to do one of our challenges. Which one was it? The boiled eggs? Okay. So we're just trying to incorporate the milk because we don't want no chunks. There's no such thing as chunky ice cream. That's not a thing. Hey, Keisha. All right, let me sit y'all back down. Now, we haven't put any sugar in here yet. We haven't put any sugar. I even have a blender I can cook in. I got a cooking blender. You've been in everyone's live for a plate? No, I'm not using a mini stove. You just saw what I had, Stefan. Go to walmart.com, type in cooking appliances. Every cooking appliance you see, I probably have it. I'll put it to you that way. I have pretty much all the new waves. I have all the ninjas. I have all the instant pots. I got it, okay? I got all of it. There's even a refrigerator and freezer right here in front of me. Okay. Now, I'm gonna add some sugar. Right, we got it all said. If you go watch some of said streams, you will see him sitting at his computer making music, and he will sit right there at that computer desk making music, and he'll cook you some chicken while you watch it. Okay. All right. Stefan, I am 42, gonna be 43 next year. I have a lot of stuff. I've had my own homes since I was 20. You name it, I own it already. You name it, I own it already. Name an, apart, name an appliance and I'll tell you if I have it. We're making ice cream. Do I have a slow cooker? Yes. You don't cook with a shark vacuum, but I do have one, but you don't cook with a shark vacuum. So what's that got to do with what I'm talking about? What kind of cooking you do in a vacuum? I don't want none of your food. I don't want none, I'm good. If you over there cooking in vacuums, I don't want none. Not one bit. Not one taste. I don't want to taste it. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want nothing you made in the, in the shark vacuum. I don't. Nothing. Nothing you made in a shark vacuum. I'm good. All right. Hold on. Ugh. 
So here we go. Show y'all. My mixture. All right, so here we go. That's flour, butter, sugar, milk. Yeah, that's all I put in there so far, right? So now we got to add the egg. Hey, Mel. You can only buy, what, the shark vacuum? I'm not a man, Stefan. Now you being goofy. Ask Vance if he got ex uh, deodorant. You can ask Vance that question. I'm making ice cream, Pretty Apple. I'm making ice cream. Okay, so we got to put egg no no cherries um oh a thermal mix oh, okay um so like i said what you gotta do with this egg is i have to beat it i'm gonna take some of this hot stuff and put it in here to bring the temperature up and then I can add it in there. Otherwise, if I pour, put this scrambled, this egg right in here, we're gonna have big old chunks of scrambled eggs. That's not what you want. And these are room temperature. You always cook with a room temperature egg. Unless you're making a meringue, then you put your uh, egg whites in the refrigerator. No. No, put your bowl in the refrigerator. You're still a room temperature egg. Cold bowl, warm egg. Okay, I had a real fork over there somewhere, but I, don't, I can't find it. Okay, so we're gonna beat these eggs. You really only need the yolks to make ice cream. You don't need the white. If I had something that I could use some meringue on or something, I'd separate it, but I'm not going to use any meringue for anything, so we're just going to use the whole thing. And we're going to fully beat these eggs. Completely, completely. But we're going to add a little bit of this hot stuff in here. Are you asking if I have a dehydrator? Yes, I do. Right, I have a um an oven slash the hot yes I have a sewing machine but again you don't cook in that Stefan you don't cook with a sewing machine we need to uh, have some discussions we need to have some discussions because um, you don't cook with a sewing machine either we don't have to get you to understand what's for cooking what's for cleaning what's for crafting Cause sewing machines and vacuuming that's not that's not food you don't you don't do food mm -mm. you don't do food like that all right so I've, I've tempered this so now I'm going to add it into here yes ma'am I'm barbecuing right now there's food out there on my smoker right now dinner is almost ready I made some ribs I made some pork chops I made burgers I made um, hot dogs and some uh, sausages, some turkey legs, corn on the cob, and baked beans are out there now. Yep, I do. Yep, yep, yep. You also have to remember, I was raised by my grandparents. I was raised by my grandparents, so I have stuff that people nowadays don't buy, but I do, because I was raised by my grandparents. I have a deep freezer, 
Okay, hold on. Let me find my vanilla. I'm not find it, but let me get to it. Vanilla. Vanilla. All right. Now I don't have all the brands. That's stupid. I don't need every brand of every product. I just get the best product from the best brand. And then I only need to buy it one time and I have it forever. You got to use the noggin. You gotta use your noggin. Nobody needs all brands. That's wasteful and ridiculous. We got custard. We're gonna make ice cream. Nope, you're still not right, Stefan. You're still not right. But you still didn't name something I didn't have. Yep, I got an ice cream maker. Right here. more sugar I have three blenders I have two toasters and a toaster oven I have a blender that cooks you just saw the can opener you just watched me use the can opener I think Thermomix is the same thing as the KitchenAid, or is that the same thing as like the Vitamix or Ninja? Shaylin is asleep. Rayon is watching TV. Stefan is silly. He's a child. He's still a kid, so he's silly. We just fuss at him and keep going. He like another one of my chillins. I just keep on fussing and keep going. I don't pay him no mind. I don't pay him no mind. You ain't no man. You almost a man. You working on it. <laughs> you working on it. You man-ish. You man-ish. Man adjacent. You working on it. You working on it. There we go. That's ice cream, y'all. Mm -hmm. 19. You're a man boy. You're a man boy. Not quite. You getting there, not quite. Not quite. Because I don't live where you live. You could come get you some food. But you don't live where I live. Hey. 
Have y'all seen Stefan's face? Go to his channel, y'all. He got the cutest little baby face. Have I, I'm a man. The chubby cheeks. The hairless chubby cheeks. Yeah, you want to know what I was using? This. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pour this. This is hot. Alright. Yep, that makes good cabbage. Always put bacon in your cabbage. Have you ever fried your cabbage, Stefan? Fry your cabbage. Fried cabbage is amazing. Add a little teriyaki. It's so good. And onions. Our vanilla that's our homemade Rayon right. I need you to wash this thing wash that bowl and then bring them back to me. This? Mm-hmm, that and this. All right, now we're gonna do the quick and easy so you don't have to make your own custard. You can sit the bowl in it if you want to. You gotta wash it anyway. It's fine. Okay. So now, we can do the easy. Cause you just watched me make pudding. Now we're gonna use instant. We're gonna make some cookies and cream ice cream. That's one, two. And we're gonna make, how many bowls I got? Yeah. So cookies and cream. Hey Shay. Uh, coconut. And then we're going to make the one that my granny used to make. And then we'll make the one that my granny used to make. Okay. No, that's the little one. Stefan, it's the little one that goes in there and licks the bowls. And she's still asleep. She ain't got out the bed yet. That's the little one. Rayon takes stuff, takes it, sits it down in the kitchen and she goes back to her room and gets back on YouTube. That's where she go. That's where she vanishes to. Oh, that's the banana cream. Okay. So I got coconut and I got banana. Okay. Um. Because we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have five bowls. We can make five things of ice cream. We can make five different ice creams. So one is the vanilla we just did, scratch. We're gonna do some Oreo. And all you need for this is milk and pudding mix. But I'm also, since this is Oreo, I'm gonna add some, um, Oreos to it. They're over here somewhere. We'll put some actual 
Oreos, but when you don't put that in there, when you're making homemade ice cream, you don't add in your stuff that you want in it until the ice cream is almost done, because otherwise it'll all just go down to the very bottom of the thing. Really? That's good. What was it a video of? I know you sent me one. I haven't looked at it yet. I don't remember what it was that you sent me. But I know you inboxed me a video. I got, I bought a big old 20 pound thing of ice yesterday. Big old 20 pound thing of ice. Okay. Milk, milk, milk. It's a challenge. Yeah, I remember it said something about butter, butter and gum. And I was like, what is butter and gum? Yeah, I haven't looked at it yet. The bubble baby butter gum. You got butter in the gum? I have to look at it. We were um at that car show yesterday. And then when I came home, I marinated my meat and stuff. All right, so this pudding has some chunks of Oreos in it, but I want a lot more than that. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm also going to add a can of condensed milk. That'll bring the sweetness up. Add a little bit of vanilla. What about the barbecue? It's just me and my kids and pop all down the street. Me and my kids and pop all down the street. Yeah, I already barbecued. That's what I've been doing. That's why this late video is late. Yep. My barbecue is already pretty much done. The baked beans are on the pit now and corn. I'll show it when I go outside to start actually making the ice cream. You'll see the you'll see the the um, barbecue. You'll see that barbecue when I go to make the actual ice cream cuz I got to make the ice cream outside. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we're going to pour this in this bowl. So it's just ready to get made.
Okay. So that's cookies and cream. We got vanilla and cookies and cream done now, right? Rayon, I need the bowl. I need the bowl back. Rinse that one and bring it back. If you can do it quickly, because I'm making ice cream with the bowls. So when you go in there and you want to eat slowly, I need the bowl. Okay. Um, should I make coconut ice cream or banana? Okay. Yep, she was. It's usually the other one. It's usually the little one. So, hey, come Pam. Okay, so we're gonna do the coconut. This is coconut ice cream now. And I'm gonna put, add more coconut into this too also once the ice cream is spinning, when it's almost done, we'll add a little extra coconut in there, okay? So again, we need a can of milk. And this one I'm using um, condensed coconut milk. Dense coconut. Gonna mix it up. Hey okay, now. All right. I finally got the ice cream going, sis. All right. Coconut. All right, I'm gonna add some vanilla. You would have licked the lid. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, that's good. That is good. She said to find her a new one and not a hand crank. She don't want a crank. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Mel has... You have ducks? You have ducks, Mel? I feel like Mel has ducks. That she has in videos. Or is it chickens? Duck. I think it's ducks. Chickens, okay. I think Mel is the person who told me about the fact that chickens can have blue eggs, green eggs, all kinds of colors eggs. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought they were just brown or white. I did not know that. Did not know it until I met Mel. And that's sad because I grew up in the country. I grew up in the country. Here's another one, Rayon. All right, there's the coconut. Now, when this stuff freezes, y'all, it'll probably be twice as much. It'll probably fill the whole bowl up when it freezes. It, it, it's bigger. Okay, so. This last one. last one might have to go in several bowls <laughs> okay this last one is the um the one my granny calls sherbet this is the sherbet y'all so for sherbet what you need now look what i found now i found red cream but then i also got big red yeah. Yeah, sleep in peace, Leona. Um so it's a can of condensed milk and a can of regular milk. Hold on, where's mother condensed milk? Wait a minute. I done lost the can, y'all. Oh, it's right there. It was upside down. Okay. You can taste ice cream now? Okay, so this one is condensed milk, canned milk, and soda. Red soda. Like, it, no flavor. The flavor is red. The flavor is red, okay? Yeah, now, Nell has already seen all my food. I was talking to her while I was cooking. So, Nell has already seen everything. Yes, yeah, Stefan, we're going to wait for her family to announce that kind of information. We're going to wait for her family to announce that information. We're just going to send out condolences and uh, leave it there. Red? What is red? Red tastes like red. <laughs> it tastes like red. <laughs> It doesn't have a flavor. It's, um, 
I just, it's kind of a cream soda. It's a cream soda, basically. <laughs> it's a cream soda is really what it kind of is. It's kind of a cream soda flavor. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> Okay, so let me get my can opener again. You have that? Okay. Yeah. No, not strawberry. It does not strawberry flavor. It's not strawberry. No, no, it's not strawberry. It's red. <laughs> it's definitely not strawberry. It's not cherry. It's not tropical punch. It's red. It's, it's red, right. What says it? It's just red. <laughs> it's not fruity. There's nothing fruity about it. It's not fruity. It's not punchy. It's red. That's what it is. It's red. And then this ice cream is going to be pink. That's what it is. It's pink. Why do I keep losing my spoons and forks? Do I keep throwing them away? I keep thinking of giving them to her. Oh. Booty back. There's burritos and tacos if you came in here to tell me you hungry. You just came to be nosy. I and mean, what? What you need? Oh, well, there's ice cream right there in front of you. Three things of it. There's Oreo or cookies and cream, whatever you want to call it. That's coconut, and then the one in the silver thing is vanilla. And now I'm going to make red. <laughs> now, red Kool-Aid tastes like fruit. <laughs> red Kool-Aid got flavors. That one's different. Red soda tastes like red. Like that purple drink. It tastes like purple. <laughs> All right, so we got the milks combined. Should I use the red cream, y'all, or should I use the big red? Should I use the big red, y'all? I, I can't pour. I don't, this bowl is not big enough. Now I don't use both. Not in, not in the same mix. Not in the same mix. Just use the red. <laughs> now let me put a little vanilla in here. A little vanilla. Ice cream always needs a little vanilla. Woo! Shaylin, come here. Don't rinse this off for me, please. When I was a little girl, um, I don't remember who bought it for me. Someone bought me for Christmas a Barbie ice cream shop. It was a little, like, it was for the Barbies, and it was an ice cream shop, but you could actually make ice cream with the ice cream shop. And so, um, you just, they told you to mix up milk, sugar, and vanilla, and then pour it into the little ice cream maker. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. The little ice cream maker. 
that's um that was in the machine and then it made you a little you know frozen milk hey newsy and um that's what this tastes like right now with just the two milks stirred together with some vanilla it tastes like the the ice cream i used to make in the in the barbie ice cream thing um we're gonna do this part when, when I get outside and we're actually making this ice cream. Because this bowl is not big enough. I need like four cups. Four or six cups of something. Yeah, mm -mm. I'm going to do that. Pour it in directly into the thing. Because you know, you know how milk and soda react with each other anyway. This is going to bubble up. So... I think she was about that old. I can't remember exactly how old she was. I can't remember. But I think she was about that old. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is going to be for our sherbet. That's what my granny used to call it. Her sherbet. Um, with the big red. And then we got the Oreo, we got the coconut, we got vanilla. I don't think I'm gonna make the banana. I think we got plenty of ice cream. So yeah, that's where we're gonna stop. And I am going to pour this in here. They don't sell big red. Big Red is, it's its hard to find even here now. It took me a while to find it in the grocery store because it wasn't even with the sodas. I had to wander around the store and I finally found it at the on the end cap on the cereal aisle. That's where I finally found, they had Big Red and um, Grape Fanta or something on the end cap of the cereal aisle. Rayon, come get these balls, please. All right. You gonna make good cream soda? So when she comes to get this stuff, <laughs> right, the first place you look for soda with the cereals. Uh, absolutely. That's, that's where it goes. That's where it belongs. Mm -hmm. um, when she comes and moves this stuff, because I can't get up right now. I'm trapped. I'm completely trapped. Um, I'm going to end this one, and then I'm going to come back live when I get outside and I get my ice, make, my ice, ice maker, my ice cream maker and everything set up. Um, get my little phone holder thing set up and then I'll talk to y'all while I make the ice cream Rayon can you please come get these bowls take the bowls and wash them out please All right. Okay. So this is out the way. I'm going to be right back. I got to go outside. I got to go outside so I can actually make the ice cream. I can't make the ice cream here. I cannot make ice cream in my bed. That's just not possible. I got to go outside. Plus, I need to check on my food. Plus, I need to check on my food. So I will be right back like maybe five minutes. Five minutes at the most. I got to get everything outside. Okay. So come back. I will be right back. I just got to take all this stuff outside. I got to set up my stand and all that stuff. Buy my phone cord so I can plug that in. And yeah, we'll be outside. 
making ice cream. No, I ain't, I ain't making ice cream in my bed. Mm -mm. Nope. Because that's salt and ice and water splashing. No. Mm -mm. That needs to be on the porch, on the concrete. So, yeah. Be right back, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and sharing. I will see y'all in a minute. So, y'all come back now. Bye, y'all.